Hey everyone, I'm Cam Johnson, and uh, if you didn't already know, I'm an amateur paranormal detective, and uh, I'm here to share with you my latest case, The Legend of the School Spirit. Albrook High School, the home of the Admirals. Albrook is not exactly known for producing particularly successful students, but what it is known for as of recently is its mysteriously high level of disappearances amongst its student body. Now, the official story is that none of these disappearances are connected in any way whatsoever, but there is an urban legend that some believe might be the cause of these disappearances, and that legend is the school spirit. Apparently, a few years ago, a particularly unpleasant group of students got together and played a prank on an uptight teacher, and she had a heart attack right there on the spot. Now, apparently, from that day forth, she has haunted the school grounds and delivered vengeance to students who have behaved poorly at Hellbrook. Most people would dismiss this as some sort of silly story completely unfounded in fact, but most people are not amateur paranormal detectives. I started doing some digging, and this is what I found. Jolene Watson, the latest Hellbrook student to go missing. The last anyone heard of Jolene was Friday when she sent this video message to her friend Lizzie. I'm about to make the school look a whole lot better. <laughs> I cannot wait to see Armstrong's face on Monday morning. Jolene's friend Lizzie is also a Hellbrook admiral, and I got in contact with her so that we could share some clues about the case. Lizzie said that Jolene tagged the school a couple of times, and that she constantly bragged about it. Now, apparently, the faculty had no idea who it was, but everyone in the student body knew that it was her. So, what I decided to do was get in contact with a couple of Jolene's classmates who ran in very different circles to see how widely known her artistic projects were. Hey, Cam. I unfortunately didn't really know Jolie that well, but I did hear her talking about spray painting Vice Principal Armstrong's door. I don't really like the guy either, but spray painting his door, that isn't really gonna make him or the school any better. Yeah, of course I knew about Jolene and her vandalism. Even if she hadn't flat out bragged about it, she sometimes left spray paint cans in her locker and her backpack. So we have Brett, the nice, quiet kid who keeps to himself, and Erica, the president of the student body. Now, if those aren't two opposite ends of the high school spectrum, then I don't know what are. This means that if both knew about Jolene, then this is widespread information possibly widespread enough to capture the attention of the school spirit. Now, our hypothesis is that the school spirit hunts delinquents. If Jolene was a known vandal, that means that she was a target. I asked Lizzie to send me some more messages in the conversation between her and Jolene leading up to the disappearance, and guys, I noticed something very strange in some of the photos that Jolene sent. You see that figure? lurking in the background. I think that might be the spirit stalking her, waiting for the right time to strike. Guys, the clues add up. I'm gonna do some more investigating, but I think I'm close. Until then, if you have any information, any clues, please get in contact, please share them with me. For now, keep your eyes out, your heads down, and your ears open. Let's go, Adam. Watch new vids every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, only on Crypt TV.